I was interested in this class because it offered some skills that were a little bit more focused than what I'm getting in my uh, program. It's getting so much hype that you pretty much can't finish a sentence without mentioning 3D printing. We do have 3D modeling classes and we do have some classes related to wearable technology, but not specifically fashion design. So the more we can get used to these products, the more we can rapid prototype, um, we can render samples so that when we talk about crazy concepts, people actually see what we're talking about. One of the coolest things about this is we are working off a maker bot. If we can start to actually conceive of like designing off the MakerBot, the new filament that we're using is so impressive that it's no longer going to be an obstacle of materiality. I could see being able to model a garment in a 3D program and then make a flat pattern out of it that I could then 3D print in actual fabric. We're here to uh, help Francis in one of his classes and um, uh, introduce everybody in the class to Lagoa. So it's a, a cloud rendering application, so rather than running on your desktop, it actually runs 100% in the browser. We're launching an e-commerce site this year, and uh, Lagoa has actually played a big role in, in um, how we're going to interface with the customers. It's going to give the user a very unique experience. You get to see the whole thing before it's done. Yeah, there really aren't any surprises. I'm not sure that I know what's impossible now. That's part of what I'm learning through this class. <laughs>